come on now. You can be bad with money, but not this bad. We've seen and read so many stupid things and people do dumb shit all the time, but this is beyond comprehensible. And we don't think an award for this level of dumb and stupid should ever be made or given. If you don't trust us, just watch this video. Oh, we can't even blame the lottery curse on these cases. Number 1. Christina Goodnow $1 million We start with Christina Elizabeth Goodnow, whose name makes us wonder, how could we not see this coming? At the time, she won the $1 million jackpot, it all seemed good, and it was an otherworldly experience, but things went wrong so soon after. What exactly happened? Well, it turns out that Christina bought the winning ticket using her boyfriend's late mother's credit card, which is a crime. The investigators who discovered this faux pas charged her with fraud and identity theft, and they not only took away the money as expected, but also jailed her. Number 2. Tonda Lynn Dickerson – $10 million This is the other crazy that spells dumb, but it's also a major buzzkill. While working as a waiter at the Waffle House, Tonda got a rather odd tip from one of her customers – a lottery ticket. Because the customer didn't have additional cash on him. But this guy didn't know that the ticket would be a winning one, giving the winner the grand lottery prize of $10 million. Unfortunately, while this was something that was expected to change Tonda's life forever for the better, it did the opposite. Later in the week, when she learned that she'd won $10 million, the rest of the Waffle House employees got excited because it meant they'd split the money equally, as is the rule in splitting tips. Unfortunately, Tonda was blindsided, and she wasn't aware of this agreement by the other employees, so she kept all the money to herself, a wrong move that brought a series of lawsuits to her doorstep. Although she won these lawsuits and learned how to protect her assets, she established an LLC for this purpose alongside her family. But this was not the break she hoped for, because soon after, the IRS was on her tail for unpaid taxes on gifts she'd made to her loved ones through her LLC. Although she put up a fight and challenged the IRS, no one really wins against Uncle Sam. She not only lost, but was also slapped with a $1.1 million fee in taxes. And after some years, all her money was gone, just like that. With no savings or fallback plan, Tonda now works as a poker dealer in Mississippi at the Golden Nugget Casino. Number 3. Sharon Tirabasi – $10 million Sharon's story and decisions make us wonder if she should be sad or just astounded by the level of stupidity and carelessness she displayed after such a big win. Granted, she did live on welfare before her win. Yes, it is human instinct to want to splurge after such a big windfall of money, but where does it end? Well, Sharon Tirabasi from Hamilton, Ontario, learned the difference between splurging and cleaning out your whole life in the worst of ways. She won the Lotto Super 7, but with the millions she was left with after taxes, she went on a spree, forgetting that she could actually run out of money, even though she had millions on her. But then, with a mansion, designer clothes, fancy cars, and flashy vacations, among others, but mostly the typically rich but showing off people stuff, she depleted her large stash in less than 10 years. So, nine years after winning $10 million, she's back to working and living paycheck to paycheck to support her family fully. They also live in a much smaller rented home with her six kids. Number 4. Lara and Roger Griffiths – $2.19 million on Lair and Roger, the famous British couple that won a large sum of money but blew it all away, ending up in debt, divorced, and with unhappy children and family, you may have heard this story too. Well, Lair and Roger's marriage ended dismally in a divorce, less than a decade after they won the lottery jackpot. The most stupid thing that Roger did, besides quitting their good jobs, was that he took the win as his opportunity to pursue his rock star dreams. Roger spent most of the winnings on his band that he reunited from his college days. But he underestimated how much money he'd need to put together the band and to release an album, mainly because he was literally living in London's most expensive hotels, leading the high life with exotic cars, designer clothes, a $1 million home, and accessories, not to mention enrolling their kids in the most expensive private schools. The latter wasn't the worst idea, honestly, but these costs add up. In many ways, it wasn't the trips they went on with the wife and the rest of the family or eating out, but the expensive life he led chasing his dreams. 
He tried to do something nice for themselves by investing in and opening hundreds of thousands in a salon, but at the end of it all, they only had $10 to their names. The shattered family and the fact that Lara was forced to work in the salon they owned was rock bottom for this stable and very happy family before they won the lottery. Number 5. Callie Rogers, $2.3 million Although she was the other lucky winner from England, winning the $2.3 million lottery prize in 2003, she'd used up pretty much all of it. And 10 years later, in 2013, she was left with $2,500 in her bank account. Unlike Lara and Roger, Callie Rogers was too young and immature when she won the money. She was only 16 years old, and this meant that she really couldn't have had the knowledge or the skill set needed to manage such a fortune at her age. So, with all that money and not much knowledge about finances and how the real world works, Callie burned through the money on drugs, dropping at least $300,000 just on cocaine, partying, and gifts. Not to mention plastic surgery and clothing. In a recent interview, she noted that she now sees life differently and admits that getting that much money at such a young age is just wrong and so much money is just too much. And though this money almost broke her, she now knows better and is stronger than she was then. Number 6. Denise Rossi, $1.3 million Most of these stories are sad. While they show what would happen without sound financial management advice, they also reveal the gullible side of many of these humans especially in the absence of a plan, and how many people make stupid decisions when presented with loads of money. This next story is easily laughable. She displayed selfish behavior after winning $1.3 million in the California lottery. Believing that she had found her way out of her marriage, she divorced her husband, Thomas Rossi, 11 days after winning the lottery without telling him. Understandably, Thomas was perplexed, and finding out what had happened, he sued her. The funny part is that because she's violated the state's asset disclosure laws, she lost the lawsuit and Thomas Rossi bagged every cent of the $1.3 million she'd won, leaving Denise single and poor. Karma won this one. Number 7. Americo Lopez, $38.5 million The best party is the party of one. No kidding, this should be the rule to live by if you play the lottery and wish to win it. We say this because the workplace lottery ticket pool seems to be the most dramatic ones. In 2009, a group of construction workers based in New Jersey pooled their cash and had Americo Lopez buy the tickets for the rest of the group. Luck was on their side, and they had the winning ticket worth $38.5 million. After learning about this win, Americo cashed in the ticket, keeping all the cash to himself and quitting his job promptly. Obviously, this raised eyebrows and one of his colleagues started to investigate. He learned the truth, and Lopez was not only taken to court, but was also forced to split the winnings with the rest of his five ex-co-workers. He honestly got lucky. He should have lost all the money. Number 8. Curtis Sharp, $5 million In 1982, Curtis Sharp won the New York Lottery Prize of $5 million, but his rags-to-riches story went up the wind in five years. He lost his fortune that fast, because he got into several marriages, spent recklessly on sports cars and many casino trips, and bought lavish gifts for his relatives and friends. So, by 1987, he'd lost it all. Today, Curtis Sharp is a minister based in Tennessee, and when asked for advice, he noted that they should have clear minds before winning or spending their winnings. Number 9. Euroj Khan Ibi Ranchauli, $1 million. He won a million dollars, but was murdered. He'd immigrated from India and set up a dry cleaning business. After taxes, he went home with $424,000, but he never saw a dime as he died on the same day the check was written. His assets would then be embroiled in a long battle between his stepdaughter and wife. It's suspected that he died of cyanide poisoning. Number 10. Evelyn Adams, $5.4 million. In 1985 and 1986, Evelyn Adams won two multi-million dollar prizes, totaling $5.4 million. Still, she couldn't get out of her way, gambling the money and ultimately losing it all in the Atlantic City Casino. She also lost cash on expensive clothes and gifts, made bad investment moves, and completely lost it. After she blew it, she moved to a trailer, as recorded by Forbes. Number 11. Willie Hurt, $3.1 million Before 1989, 
Willie Hurt was a regular, happily married family man with a good reputation in the neighborhood. But things took a turn not for the better when he won $3.1 million in the Super Lotto jackpot in Michigan. Notably, this took place at the height of the crack epidemic Hurt was deeply tangled in. After taxes, the money he took home was used to fund his raging drug addiction. He soon divorced his wife, lost custody of his kids, and lost some of his fortunes. He was also charged with an alcohol and a multi-day drug frenzy. In the divorce, his attorney mentioned that he had spent the money in the divorce that was, subtly put, rocky, and also his addiction to crack. And by 1991, he was left with only a blurred memory of the money he once had. Funny how life is, no?